Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please give us a call if you guys are looking to improve your credit score, lower your car payment, buy a car, trade in a car. Uh, if you're looking to purchase your first home, if you're looking to purchase a rental property, we can help you. Give us a call today, 877-205-7771. Talk to you guys soon and thanks again. Hello everyone, this is Calvin Russell, CEO and founder of 850 Club Credit Consultation. Hope everyone's doing well today. Today we're going to talk about student loans and should they be deleted uh, from a credit report. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, there are, of course, politicians stepping in, uh, talking about, finally, uh, you know, student loans and things of that sort. Uh, but on the credit side of things, uh, first off, it's really not that big of a deal. Um, all you have to do to keep student loans from affecting your credit score is simply get on some type of deferment or some type of payment plan. Ignoring the problem or trying to get them removed from your credit report is really not going to make a difference. You know why? When you're trying to buy, you know, let's say a car, the no dealership on the planet looks at your student loans. They could care less. You can have a million dollars in student loans. You will still get approved for a vehicle. They go by credit score and income. That's all they care about as a dealership or not just a dealership, I should say, because they just have inventory. But when banks give you know, you an approval for an auto loan, um, when you're trying to get a credit card, no one cares about your student loans. You can have a million dollars in student loans and still get approved for a credit card anywhere between 300 to 20,000 easily. Okay. The problem is, is that it's more so the uh, perception. People look at student loans, they look at debt, and they associate that with uh, everything else in life, which makes sense. You know, um, if you have fifty, sixty thousand dollars in debt, a hundred thousand dollars in debt, you think like, man, I have a whole house of debt on my credit card. I mean, on my credit report, and you do. The problem is, is that uh, too many people are thinking that it's slowing them down, and it's not. The only time that it really slows you down again. Is that when it's uh, when you're not paying on them when they're not on some type of deferment? But even when they're in deferment, uh, the interest has to go somewhere. Um, if you're in deferment, not on a payment plan, the interest will uh, you know slowly uh, decrease your credit score. You're probably seeing those changes uh, you know on your credit report actually. Now you can fix that by consolidating your student loans. Consolidation doesn't necessarily mean that you promise to pay. Uh, well, I'm sorry, that you promised uh, that you are setting up a payment plan per se. You're just consolidating them. So that way, if they're still in deferment, you're getting that one interest hit versus mo versus multiple interest hits on your credit report. OK, and that plays a major role. Now, when people say, well, man, can you get these deleted off my off my credit report? Whether they're there or not, let me give you guys a long term. Let's say you get your student loans removed off of your credit report, right? What I find is that most people that want their student loans removed off of their credit report are the same people who aren't paying their student loans. Just because it's removed from your credit report does not mean that you don't have to pay them. <laughs> it's just not on paper. It's kind of like having, you know, we talked about this before. It's like having, you know, a report card, right? And you have an F and you put a line on that other side of the F trying to make it look like an A. It's just, it's just on paper. But keep in mind, the only people that do care about your student loans are the mortgage companies. Why is that? Most people, when they're buying their first home, 70 to 80% of people that buy their first home normally go FHA. FHA is, of course, a government insured home loan, okay? Um, it's not a discount per se or anything like that. It's not like it's government assistance or anything like that. It's to make home ownership more affordable for people instead of having to put down 20% or 10%, you only have to put down 3.5%. Why am I bringing that up? Well, because if your student loans are in default, you cannot purchase a home going under FHA. You're probably like, well, Calvin, you know, I'm going to go conventional anyway. Sounds great. But most people that's going to qualify for a conventional, you have to have a 680 score or higher for the numbers to make sense. Can you do a conventional with 650? Eh, you can, but the interest rate is going to be a little bit higher. And why would you do that just to avoid uh, defaulted student loans? Student loans aren't going anywhere. No time soon. I don't care what any politician says because there's too many people making money behind the scenes. Uh, think about it. You know, you got the schools making money. You got the teachers, professors making money. Uh, you got these colleges. Think about these big name colleges making money, you know, and then there's a lot of investors inside the school who make money as well, too, from all of this stuff that's going on. And again, is it a bad situation? It's a very bad situation. But in short, the reason why a lot of people don't talk about that 
it, no, uh, that you can't purchase a home with default student loans is simply because people never make it to home ownership. And again, we help people make it to, you know, well, of course, qualify for home ownership all the time. So it's a very common conversation that we have. In short, you cannot close on a FHA loan uh, while having, um, sorry, I see the trees outside. Um, in short, you cannot close on a home going FHA if you have student loans in default. Now, if you have student loans in deferment or if you have them on a payment plan, then that's great. You won't have any issues closing on a home. That's the whole purpose of us going to school, right? You know, so, but an another thing as well, too, is that the government can see everything. If you're, it's, it's crazy to think, but you can't borrow money from the government trying to get a home and then owe them on the back end with like, you know, let's say, you no, know, in this case, you know, default student loans. Here's the worst part about default student loans is that you can't find out if you have default student loans on the mortgage side until you get an FHA, uh, uh, what they call an FHA case number. That FHA case number doesn't even come about until you do an appraisal. An appraisal doesn't come about, an FHA appraisal, I should say, ordered by the mortgage company. That doesn't happen until after the inspection. The inspection doesn't happen until you pay for the inspection, obviously. And then, of course, that's you find a house, the pre-approval, and then going all the way back. So, unfortunately, you would have gotten about 70 to 80% done with the home buying process, only to find out you can't close on a home because your student loans are in default. How do I know this? Because it happens to one of my clients. We got all the way into the process. She spent the inspection money, all the time that we spent looking at homes, getting the pre-approval, all that jazz, only to find out she couldn't close on the house if her student loans were in default. And guess what? She then had to wait until her student loans came out of default, which takes about 12 months or less, depending on how further you're into it, okay? But again, guys, student loans is just something that we just gotta just, we just, we just got to man up or woman up. You know, it's just what it is. You know, I know it's unfortunate, but if we really feel a certain way about our student loans, then we have to create an, an alternative for our children when it's time for them to go to school. And, you know, if they if college is going to be the best route for them, there's a lot of different routes that people can go without necessarily having to go to college. But nobody wants to talk about it. It feels like people it's like the elephant in the room. People feel bad if they don't go to college. Listen, it's 2019. There are plenty of you know, uh, positions that never existed 20 years ago, whether you're a social media manager, uh, you know, we're talking uh, on you know, Google sales and all type of different things that never existed. I mean, it's so many different types of things that's going on. So either way, don't want to spend too much time on it. But again, student loans, whether they're on or, or off your credit report anyway, they're not going anywhere. If you owe them and then, of course, they come out and we get them off of your credit report or someone else or whatever, right? You, they're still going to take your tax if you're in default. So the back end side of it is not that big of a deal. All you have to do is get on a payment plan or settle or, or get on some type of forbearance if you can, whatever, right? Just find out what you qualify for. You can't run away from this stuff, all right? <laughs> but either way, I hope this video was helpful. If you like it, like it, you want to share it, share it. And as always, be sure to subscribe as we have nothing but great content on the way. Sorry for the break, but man, this real estate's been kind of going crazy in Chicago. So but I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah.